How to save money when you don't make a lot. Do you constantly find it hard to save money? No matter how hard you try, it's like every day brings a barrage of bills, expenses, and those unexpected purchases that simply can't wait. Over 80% of Americans are riding this same money roller coaster. Their 401k accounts are almost empty. Why? Because the concept of saving got lost somewhere between their expenses. I understand you don't earn much, but you can still save money even on a not-so-much income. I wasn't making a six-figure income, but I saved up my first $100,000 in three years. Want to know how I did it? Watch this video until the end. Firstly, you must be deliberate about it and start now. You don't need to be a money guru or a coupon-clipping ninja to make things work. Start small and keep building your savings. You don't need a stack of cash to start your savings journey. Got a spare $5? That's your starting point. Got a couple of bucks here and there? Those little amounts are your building blocks. Rome wasn't built overnight, and your savings account won't magically grow to thousands in a day. Every little bit counts. The Federal Reserve found out something pretty eye-opening. They found that 40% of Americans might have difficulty handling an unexpected expense of $400 meaning they might need to take a quick loan or opt for multiple payments to make it through. That's because they've got nothing set aside for emergencies. No matter how small your paycheck might be, you've got the power to kickstart your savings game. Financial experts may suggest having about six months' worth of living expenses in a savings account. Don't panic if that sounds like a marathon. Having $25 in your savings account is something. It's like a seed. Think about it. If you don't start, it won't grow on its own. So don't get stuck in the thinking about it zone. Dive in and start saving, no matter how teensy you think the amount is. Trust me, taking action beats doing nothing any day. The next thing is to reduce your housing cost. Based on a U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics study, housing costs can take up a major chunk of your expenses. Now picture this. What if you could slice off a few hundred dollars from your monthly housing expenses? Pause for a second and think about your current living setup. That sprawling house? Do you need that sprawling house, especially if you're living alone? While owning a grand palace sounds like something out of a fairy tale, let's get real. Do you use all those extra rooms? Time for a reality check. Why struggle with a massive mortgage when a smaller, more comfortable home could be the solution to your budget needs? Downsizing or renting could be your ticket to financial freedom. You might also want to think about relocating to a more budget-friendly area. Also, have you considered living close to work? This trick might not work for everyone, but it did work for me. Think about your daily stress with traffic, the transport system, jumping from one bus to another, the noisy trains, etc. Have you ever calculated the time, energy, and expenses you spend on this daily adventure? Now imagine funneling that expense straight into your savings or spending that time and energy in a side hustle that's channeled to your savings. Living closer to your 9-to-5 job provides financial benefits and improves your quality of life. By reducing your commuting time, you can save money and enjoy the beauty of having extra sleep instead of battling traffic or rushing for the subway. In a society where time is money and money buys you time, a shorter commute equals more savings in your pocket. What other way can you save when you don't make a lot? Take a second look at all your bills. I vividly recall using my annual leave a few years ago to meticulously review all of my bills and contracts. I did everything possible to trim down unnecessary expenses, yet my bills kept running after my paycheck. You know what I'm talking about, those automated bills, insurance, bank services, utilities, online subscriptions, etc., I was shocked by the tons of hidden charges and pointless services I pay for every year. Those automatic renewals with unsolicited add-ons? It dawned on me that I'm shelling out over $1,000 annually for these things. I remember calling many of these service providers and requesting a modification to my contract. I opted for basic services. I was cool with it and diverted the extra cash into my savings. That was my best annual leave ever. It saved my life. I recommend you do that. It's all about snagging a better deal without losing what you've grown accustomed to. A quick switch, a few clicks, and your wallet gets a breather. Also, consider planning and cooking your meals. 
Food is undoubtedly essential, but you don't need to break the bank to eat well. With your budget already stretched thin, it's important to keep track of your food expenses. On average, a household spends about 40% of its food budget dining at restaurants. Even if you consider yourself a home chef, grocery shopping can still take a huge portion of your budget. That's where meal planning comes in to save. You can also consider shopping for groceries online. It eliminates the need for impromptu trips to the store that often end up emptying your wallets. Additionally, online shopping is a good way to curb overspending. It's simple. As you make your purchases, you can see the total expenses adding up in real time, allowing you to conduct a budget reality check before proceeding to the checkout. If you can manage to stay within your budget, diverting extra cash into your savings will be very easy. Another trick is to opt for used items. Let's clear something up right away. Buying used products isn't about settling. It's about scoring more value for your money. Who cares if it's new and from Louis Vuitton? Think of it like this. It's not just used stuff. It's a VIP pass to quality goodies without the hefty price tag. Also, cut down on those latest devices. You don't need to have the latest iPhone. You won't be laid off from work if you don't have a MacBook Pro. So why incur unnecessary debt and feel pressured to fit in. Let's admit it, there are more like luxury items in a parade than daily essentials. Do you need the shiniest, latest gadget when the one you've got works just fine? And that gigantic TV? How often do you use it when you have a mini cinema in your palm? You've also got to ditch unwanted subscriptions. Are your monthly memberships piling up like old magazines? It's time for you to check up on them. Why pay for that gym you ghosted weeks ago? Why pay for a service you rarely use? Sift through the pile and weed out the subscriptions you barely touch. Remember, every penny you save here will go into your savings account. Lastly, maximize your entitlements. Isn't it funny how many of us are clueless about our entitlements? It's time to play detective and unearth all those financial goodies you're legally entitled to. Tax credits, benefits, and company perks are your hidden gems waiting to be claimed. Do you know if your workplace provides free meal tickets or subsidized housing for employees? If there's a chance to save, don't let it slip by. It's time to get every bit of financial goodness you're owed. Once you've uncovered these treasure troves, use them. And before I wrap up today's video, one more thing. Saving money doesn't mean the fun has to take a nosedive. You can still have a blast. Just do it with budget smart moves. Your wallet will thank you for not breaking its heart. Opt for free or affordable entertainment options. Swap pricey outings for picnics. Your local library isn't just for bookworms. It's a treasure trove of free books, music, and movies. Remember, fun doesn't need a hefty price tag. Ready to kickstart your money journey with a burst of knowledge and determination? Smash the like button and join the league of subscribers. Thanks for watching and see you next time.